birthday. It is exactly 11 minutes past eight. DUP councillors in Belfast City Council have called for the portrait of former Sinn Féin Lord Mayor Niall O'Donnell to be removed from Belfast City Hall. Mr O'Donnell was Sinn Féin's leader in the Shannon until he stood down last December for what the party described as health reasons. However, it's since emerged that Mr O'Donnell had actually been suspended from the party months earlier for sending inappropriate but not illegal texts to a teenager. In a statement to the Irish News, Mr O'Donnell said he accepted his behaviour warranted stepping down from his role in the Shannon and as a party member. Well, last night, the DUP leader Gavin Robinson addressed councillors from across Northern Ireland at a meeting. He told them that the scandal surrounding the handling of the Michael McMonagall case a few weeks ago uh, and the revelations surrounding Niall O'Donnell meant that Sinn Féin must explain what he called their cover-up and flagrant disregard for basic safeguarding practices. The TUV is also calling for the removal of the portrait and its Belfast City Councillor and Deputy Leader Ron McDowell joins us now. Morning to you. Good morning. Why do you feel so strongly about the removal of this portrait? It's important to say that there has been inappropriate behaviour, but it's not criminal behaviour. It's something that has been handled by Sinn Féin as a party. Why do you feel so strongly about the removal of this portrait? Um, I'll probably come to Sinn Féin's handling of the issue um, in a second. But as far as the portrait goes, um, we're told that these are assets to Belfast City Hall. They're part of the physical um, building and they're showcased to the public. They're showcased to visitors to Belfast. They're showcased to those um, who take tours of Belfast City Hall. And each of these portraits tell a story. Um, There are people like Sir James Johnson, whose portrait is damaged from his time in the Blitz. Um, and other more recent Lord Mayors like Kate Nic- Nicola can think of of the Alliance Party got her portrait taken um, when she was heavily pregnant. So what we're saying is what is the story um, that would come of the now um, O'Donoghue um, portrait? Um, and I think that as the front of Belfast, as the corporate brand of Belfast, um, I don't think we should be um, showcasing anyone who has admitted to inappropriate behaviour towards teenage boys. Well, it's, it's, it's inappropriate behaviour, as we mentioned. It, it, it's, it's not illegal. And, and, and the point, I suppose, is it is a piece of history. And, you know, it, it, it's all very well to kind of like talk about the idea of, 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 of removing it as being the brand of Belfast. But, it, but it's also a little bit of history, isn't it? And, and it, is there a danger that actually you do, in some ways, try to cover up history? Is that not what you're accusing Sinn Féin of? Um, I think um, today, when, when we, you talk about history, there are people alive who are affected by this. Um, we know that there are macabre tours, and there may be a time in the future when some macabre tour of Belfast takes place, um, and some of the more darker side of the, the city is shown. But while it's fresh, while it's in the news, while this is the fresh public face of Belfast, it's grossly inappropriate um, that this should be shown. But it also comes on the back of other issues, like you've already said, um, around Michael McMonagall. And um, I, the TUV had tabled a motion yesterday morning with SPNR for the portrait to be removed. Um, late yesterday evening, we've seen that other unions have followed that um, with um, an application to the party leaders to have it discussed as well. But what I would say is, if Kevin Robinson is serious about um, making Sinn Féin answer questions around Michael McMonagall and their behaviour around some of these issues, then it really shouldn't be ducking out um, of the no confidence vote that the the TUV have presented at Stormont at the minute. Well, certainly when you take a look at your statement that you released this week, it's an indication that you want to try and collapse Stormont again. That's what you want to see happen. I mean, is, is, is that no. not ridiculous in terms of, 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 of trying to keep some st- political stability here? This is a crisis within a party. Why are you trying to make it a crisis for Northern Ireland? Because the setup of, of governance in Northern Ireland at the minute is that nothing can bring it down, that you can't hold any leader to account. The behaviour of Michael McMonagall and Nalo The, the point is you can bring it down. You're calling for them to bring it down. That's exactly what you're saying. We're calling... We're calling for a vote of no confidence in Michelle O'Neill's leadership because Michelle Michelle O'Neill is ducking answering awkward questions about Michael McMonagall um, and by the DUP and the Ulster Unionist Party not signing the vote of no confidence in Michelle O'Neill. They're essentially propping her up. Um, When there's bad government, it has to be called out and we have to call them to account. Um, And that's what I think um, is going on at Stormont. Extorment can't be carte blanche to behave any way you want. Well, there ha- has hang to on, be hang an on. answer. There are two different things there. There's bad government and then there is bad 
activity within a party. And even if these allegations of, of cover-up can be confirmed within the party, it doesn't go to the question of whether or not this place is better with or without a government or the actions or, or inactions of a government. You seem to be conflating two different things here. So what, what is your problem with Michelle O'Neill? Is it in what she does in government or is it within what has happened within the party? So there, there are two sides to that as well. I mean, um, you've, you've said that I've presented you with two sides. The clues in the name of this, a vote of no confidence in the leadership of Michelle O'Neill. Um, and that's very simply put, that the TUV do not have any confidence in Sinn Féin's handling of any of these scandals over the last three months. We have no confidence in it. Um, she shouldn't be protected um, at committee level and she shouldn't be protected from awkward questions simply because the ramifications of that are awkward for the institutions at Stormont. If there has been um, a failing by Michelle O'Neill to deal with Michael McMonagall um, openly and transparently, then there has to be a vote of no confidence put in her. Um, and we would call others um, to support us on that decision. We, we should make the point at this point that we have asked to speak to Sinn Féin repeatedly for a fortnight now. Um, we've bid for Mary Lou Macdonald, Michelle O'Neill, other Sinn Féin representatives here and in the Republic to speak to Good Morning Ulster. It's been a no to all of those requests. You say that you believe Michelle O'Neill is ducking questions. Why do you say that whenever she has spoken in the Assembly? She might not have spoken to us, but she certainly has spoken to MLAs whenever they have raised some of these issues. She has spoken briefly to MLAs. And we also, um, our, our own MLA, Timothy Gaston, when he was given opportunity to raise some questions on this, and um, was faced with a preposterous um, position of only getting 30 seconds or a minute um, to ask those difficult questions. Um, so I really think that um, at, even at committee level, it needs to be um, called back and those serious and awkward questions be asked. Um, a period where we can properly interrogate Michelle O'Neill about what she knows, what she needs. 